Hello dear students. In this lecture we will discuss sex linkage and we will discuss Morgan's red and white eye process in Drosophila. So sex linkage refers to location of genes on sex chromosomes X and Y and examples include eye color in Drosophila is a X linked character in humans hemophilia and color blindness in males they are expressed as genes um, they are more expressed because the genes for these characters are located on X chromosomes uh, in uh, when we see kinds of sexes heterogametic sex refers to sex forming two types of gametes such as X and Y in males and homogametic sex refers to sex forming only one type of gamete such as X and X in females. Hemizygous term is used for condition where only one allele is present. Uh, in case of Y alleles, Y, for example, the genes which are present on Y alleles in males. So, what is sex linkage? We have just discussed. The sex chromosomes in addition to determining the sex of an organism have also genes for other body traits. For example, the X chromosome is known to uh, contain many other genes. Similarly, the Y chromosome has also uh, genes but these are few genes compared to X chromosomes because the Y chromosome has a small size. Sex linked inheritance refers to the carrying of genes by X chromosomes for body characters and this is called X-linked inheritance. Such sex-linked traits are not always limited to one sex but also transmitted from mother to male offspring or from father to his female offspring. So we will see this as crisscross inheritance in eye of Drosophila, eye color of Drosophila and we will discuss through crosses. The sex-linked traits may be recessive or dominant. And the female with two X chromosomes may be either heterozygous or homozygous for a given gene. So this we know. So accordingly, the trait in the female may show recessiveness or dominance. But the ma males uh, having XY chromosome constitution will have hemizygous genetic constitution. And uh, because in males there is only one copy of X chromosome and only one copy of Y chromosome. So these genes, whether dominant or recessive in males, um, they will uh, express themselves because the Y uh, chromosome is present in only one copy. So whatever alleles are present on Y chromosome, they are expressed in males. The main characteristic of X-linked inheritance, whether dominant or recessive is the absence of male to male or father to son transmission. And this is due to the fact that X chromosome in male is never transmitted to his sons but are passed on to his daughters. So we will try to understand it with the help of crosses. So let us take the example of sex linked inheritance in Drosophila which is eye color and the normal eye color of Drosophila is red. So D. H. Morgan in 1910 he found one of the male flies in Drosophila culture as white fly and if these white eyed male they were bred with red eye female uh, all the F1 offsprings were red eyed when these F1 flies were inbred all the females of the F2 had red eyes and half of the males had red eyes and the other half, other half had white eyes but no white eyed females were found now if the reciprocal cross was made for this cross in which the females were white eyed and the males were red eyed all the f1 females were red eyed and all the males were white eyed so in these f1 uh, when these of uh, one offsprings were inbred the f2 showed equal number of red and white males and females so we will try to understand with the help of cross say this was the cross uh, these are the two pictures you have in front of you and uh, this was the crosses performed by morgan so these are from morgan's red and white 
eye process in Drosophila. So in figure 10.1, you see that a red-eyed female is crossed with a white-eyed male. Now you see that in red-eyed female, there are this is homozygous for capital W, capital W, and red-eyed male has small W, which refers to white-eyed allele. Now when these two parents were crossed, the F1 progeny was all red eyed and so when they were uh, selfed or when they were self bred you can see that the four types of progenies are produced in f2 and in f2 all the females are red eyed in males you see one is to one ratio of red eye is to white eye now when you see what is happening to the white eyed allele white allele which is present in male you see that it is going from the male parent to the daughter in F1 and from the daughter the small w is or small w giving white eye is coming back to the male progeny in F2. So this kind of inheritance pattern is called crisscross inheritance where a trait goes from one sex to next sex in next generation and comes back to same sex in the uh, other generation. So, in the reciprocal cross, which is in front of you in figure 10.2, where uh, the reciprocal cross was performed and a white eyed female was crossed to a red eyed male. So, here you see that now the capital W allele for red eye is present in male, and when this cross was done in F1, there was equal proportion of red eyed female is to white eyed male, and the red eye female here you see they are heterozygous with a dominant w and small w and white eyed male when they were uh, crossed with white eyed male so in f2 four kinds of progeny are pro produced where you see that the females are red eyed and white eyed similarly males are red eyed and white eyed so here also you see the um, the inheritance pattern of capital W allele so in the it is going from male parent to the daughter in F1 and coming back to the uh, son in the next generation similarly if you see the inheritance pattern of small W allele it is going from female to son in the F1 and coming back to female in the next generation so this is called crisscross inheritance and this was observed by Morgan and so uh, from these crosses the male fly we understand that the male fly transmits his sex linked character here eye color to his grandsons to his daughters but never to uh, his sons the character seems to alternate or cross from one sex to the other in its inheritance and this is called cross inheritance in fact this mode of inheritance follows the x chromosome it means that wherever the x chromosome is going the color of the eye is going only the daughters receive an x chromosome from the father um, and um, so and the sons they receive the x chromosomes from mother as well as father so the uh, we have um, um, understood the Morgan's experiment with these two crosses and this is how they are described again here so if you see in first cross it was the cross was uh, red eyed female with white eyed male and f1 were all red eyed in f2 three red is to one eyed was obtained in reciprocal cross when white eyed female were uh, crossed with red eyed male f1 were equal proportion of red eyed female to white eyed males and f2 red eyed uh, to white eyed uh, male and female were obtained in equal proportion so the above process differs from mendelism in two ways f1 results of reciprocal crosses are different and in second cross the f1 were not uniform so what would do we conclude from Morgan's experiment that there is a close similarity between the inheritance of eye color and X chromosome and the genes for eye color are located on X chromosome. So wherever the X chromosome was going, the eye color was also going.
So Morgan concluded that dicolored genes are located on X chromosome in Drosophila and this was a direct evidence that genes are located in chromosomes which was earlier proposed by Sutton and Bogara. So we have just discussed that X-linked genes are eye color in Drosophila. In humans, uh, hemophilia and colored blindness are genes for these two diseases are present on X chromosomes. So these are X-linked diseases and they follow crisscross inheritance. And what is crisscross inheritance? This is a character of one sex is inherited to opposite sex in F1 generation and the same character is then inherited back to same sex in F2. So the character goes from male to female in uh, from parent to from male to female and come back, comes back to male and similarly female to male and then comes back to female. So there are some bilinked characters also which are present in man. For example, genes of hypertrichosis uh, which is in some families long stiff hairs on the rim of hairs are present in males but not in females and similarly uh, ichthyosis hysterix which is the presence of scaly skins is inherited by y-linked gene so uh, these are there are many other y-linked traits also but these traits because these the genes are present on y chromosome so they will be uh, passed on to only males and similarly there are some examples of x-linked dominant genes and examples um, these x-linked dominant genes uh, so they will not follow crisscross inheritance and they will be visible in every generation so examples are uh, hypophosphatic rickets and trans carbamylase deficiency so please read books uh, to have a detailed knowledge of all this we are not going to discuss in detail and here you can see that these are some uh, examples of y-linked associated genes hypertrichosis which we have just discussed and ichthyosis hysterix which is the presence of scaly skin in males so uh, i hope you have understood uh, sex linkage please read books to understand more and hope to meet you in the next uh, lecture. Thank you students.